Welcome back everyone to Old World Blues, A to Z series which we're playing as the Jacksons. Now, this isn't where we left off. Last time we were over here, but we've decided to fight against Standing Rock because we've got a gigantic issue at hand. Um, Midnight Union. So there's the Marshall Republic, they've got the Great or True Cons, and then they've got the Sisters of Steel. That is one heck of a gigantic gigantic faction that we absolutely cannot take on so I'm gonna be playing this a lot off screen but we're here beating up the standing rock and we're doing well we're doing quite all right not gonna lie um, they're about to capitulate they've up to 10 divisions left we've got 41 we're gonna go to war and keep pushing further and further east perhaps and just pretty much taking out whatever or whoever we can coring as much territory as possible getting as much land as possible we're probably good down to Nebraska because we, we we can't take these guys on by ourselves for now and it looks like the Royal Court's looking pretty thick, too. Kingdom of Manitoba, the Grand Duchy Saskatchewan is looking pretty mighty and beefy, so I don't think there's a lot of options for us, unfortunately. In terms of us trying to hold off, defending, coring. Um, but we'll see. We'll do the best we can. Um, so like I said, there'll be a lot of stuff off screen just because I need time to get us basically to there as we show them up next. Uh, oh, Hermes armor. Wow. 25 armor. Well, that's awesome. Uh, with Enclave out of the way and all their little, little neat gadgets from Chicago before the war, we can trick out our own riot gear and maybe even use the factories in Missoula to make ourselves into a bit more of a nation state. Plus, some scared science types have collaborated their own, with our own smart fellows, making a special kind of elite gear from all these dead husks of steel, they calling it Hermes armor. How fun. Great. And then we also have sophisticated special forces tech, which is awesome, awesome possums, and the silly books. You can't catch a rab with a magazine, but you teach one of our kids to read, well, that'll lead to something good, hopefully. Um, I want to wait till we can maybe max out Rosebud first. Uh, beautiful rivers. Although we do not wish to swim like fish, we do love these rivers. Let's make use of them in a way that will strengthen our hold upon the lands. It should be great. Um, so we're really trying to get as many things here as possible. And by things, I mean... Uh, building up this trade node. Uh, we have not begun even a scavenging program. That's not ideal. Okay. Uh, basic training appointment, that's fine. Rethink your focuses, science and whatnot. Well, we can't really do anything there because I chose not to. Um, industry, mm, we're all right. Force, oh, if you can't win people's hearts, pull it out from their chests. Lose a thousand manpower. You get, lose, well, a lot of weekly stability. You lose an arms workshop and two infrastructure. You get two man, oh, manpower back. And you get a quarter of the Jacksons. Culture assimilation, we have you. We control you. Well, we'll do everything necessary to deal with it. Any 30 army XP, expand army training. This attack and defense, better army XP, or 10 army XP. Before we do anything else, let's take a look see. The Cabal. How much money do we have? Eh, we get a little bit of money, not much. Um, how, many, how many more days do we have to go to war with two peoples? Oh, uh, we got some time. You know, let's go, we'll try that. We'll close out of this one. Uh, Mandan? Is that worth it? Oh, we got Bismarck too. Look at that. Mandan. Honestly, it's probably not worth doing. But we'll spend the political power for now. Just because as much as I don't want to lose the weekly stability, we can get more weekly stability later. And we get a free core there which will help out resistance when I around there too. Fishing. We don't envy the fish, for they fear us. But by God, we love catching them. Yeah. And we'll continue expanding this way because I want to get as many better core creation costs as possible because my god, we're going to need core a lot. Um, so that's a that's the main idea for now. Do we have any boats? No, so we're going to make one. Work on naval XP even though we don't honestly have to at all. And then what do you got? Big, uh, gliders. <clears throat> and fighting. Anyone who dares interrupt our fishing shall face a magnificent navy. Look at all the army XP we've got already. Fantastic. And boats are for the crossing. It's unlikely we'll be facing any large naval battles anytime soon, but that doesn't mean we can't put these boats to use in times of war. Fail the river. If we put enough boats in the water, how could any any enemy ever hope to sail through? Keep drilling. Regular practice and trade will keep our crews sharp even during times of fishing trade. One day they might just need it. Get another Things too. Nice, that's awesome. Good. You know what, sister here? Helps out anyways. Because we got a lot of territory we're going to have to deal with. Better plans are nice too. Mm. We do have 30 arm XP. That's quite a bit of compliance, which I do like. Uh, I have no manpower, but what else is new? Uh huh. We need, we need manpower. We need money. We need a lot of things. 
Rosebud, can you do anything here? No, okay. Oh, that's good, at least. Oh, this is Bismarck. This can get some money here, too, right? See what happens here. Maybe drama team X, perhaps. 150 days. My God, that is so much. Bart Scientist only family. Uh, Bart standardization. Um, I think we're gonna probably go down. Ace Venture Warfare and go with ancient tactics. We don't have enough manpower as is, so it's okay to do that, right? Yeah. My thoughts exactly. And we're looking pretty good already. I like it. And fighting. And for crossing. Because Nathaniel's Watchmen are part of this group here too, right? Yeah. Oh, there's a gigantic faction as well. So, uh, Drama Tape probably, then Crow's Creek perhaps. And maybe we'll fight in Nebraska. Oh, there we go. See, we are doing that. Good. Commander, old guard. I'm not sure what you're an old guard of, but whatever. Need more radios too. We got enough mobile fortifications too, which ain't bad, but still. All right. Go all the way through, y'all. Not really worried about them. Oh, we got that one done, which is nice. Sure, we'll grab it next. Why not? Because we still have a lot of things built. Oh, we have a lot of fortresses. Oh, we were going to build a lot of forts around here, too. Build up these guys first. Keep building your industry up as well. So, whatever cap for the army is good. We're in Raider Bands. We could increase the level of conscription that we have. I kind of like it where it's at currently. Yeah, what are you doing? Help them out. More factory output, more. And we're hurting on circuitry, which makes sense. Don't really wrong. Good. No. Let's go. Fine. Extraction. Um, can you just keep grabbing more stuff like this? That's fine. Help out with compliance a little bit too. Uh, I recommend going here. You can definitely cut them all off if you do this. Hey, on the river. And keep drilling. Hey, look at that. That's pretty nice. Expand the combo with. There you go. Figure it out. Nice. Good stuff. Good stuff. More defense for our guys. There you go. And... There you go. Have fun. Cultural simulation, fight for glory. Lose weekly manpower. We have already don't have any, but get a lot of attack. Oh, there they go. What do you expect? Expect better, that's right. Um, you guys can stay here. And you guys can stay here. Should be alright. <clears throat> Spend 40 army XP. Screw it, what we're going to do. It's going to really raise resistance, but that's fine. While well, I'm in waterways, the rivers cure the ever present dangers of pirates, invaders, and mutants. We're gonna need bigger boats. Come 
Marshall Republic. So we've got to wait a little bit, which is fine with us. Improve living standards. Yeah. Down to 12, not great, not ideal, but whatever. Sure. So we've got the ones we really want down here. Infantry perks would be nice. The really special forces I want to keep increasing. Uh, 0.66 a day is not bad. And where are we at with this one? Ah, the bottom of the month is not bad. We need more radios. And, and guns are looking good. Guns are looking definitely very good. Keep building yourselves up. Get more compliance growth speed, monthly population. Well, enable. Intermediate naval tech is not great. I guess we'll do this one anyways. It's taking a while to get and their silly bucks done too. It's a little ahead of town, because the grenade rifles would be nice. These guys get pretty hard probably. You guys will be fine. As soon as we go to war with these guys. Yeah, I just I would love to do this stuff, but does it we really just can't yet. Advanced technology, we close out of that one. Ooh, we should probably start researching, researching the other part of the land doctrine. Um just makes the most sense to me. These guys might actually be, get attacked here too. Good. 0.18 and none for ARSP, that sucks. There you go. I think the best bet would go south. Gross Creek. 100, it's, my god. No more attack would be nice, but still. Local leaders. Start hurting our political power. Yay. See what you can do. Some things you can muster up. Recycling, land doctrine. Forging, nice. More recovery rate, better recruited population factor. Way more HP. You guys can take way more of a beating. And the silly books. So we're done with the land doctrine for now, or books, I should say. Uh, so taking all these other ones is going to take quite a bit of time. Going to be on top at peace. Wardens of the White. Yeah, Convene Struts. Good. Sure, why not? Hello. Just pile drive yourself in there. <clears throat> nice. Let him exhaust themselves. We'll break over the river that way too. But then we'll go to war with Crow's Creek and probably kill them off. Well, everyone, this is not where we left off, but I'm going to just be honest with you. The Britannian Empire, also known as the Duchy of Longenburg, went to war with us. And, uh, well, they were so strong that we had to use Khan's commands. I mean, there's no other way around it. They were way too strong. We constantly had a manpower. We caught a lot of stuff from the Standing Rock, but it just really wasn't enough for us to do anything against them. So, unfortunately, I had to use Khan's commands and uh, aid us in taking out... Uh, the Duchy of Longenburg, basically, and the puppets and whatnot. They actually went to war with the Union of the Machine, too, which is why we're all the way up here, finally. Um, our industry is fine. It's just some manpower issues. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it. Um, Fortunately, these cons commands. Oh, we still got to go to war with the Sisters of Steel. They, they, I made them. I forced them to go to war with the Northern Union to at least have them do something, so they want to go to war with us immediately because they wanted to go to war with us. So. Fortunately, this is where we're at right now, and uh, I guess we'll see you, and we'll be going to World Sisters of Steel as we're going to make way more divisions, core a lot more stuff, and then try to make this work for us somehow. Well, I've spent a lot of time off screen. It's June 2288-89, and we're trying to fight the Martial Republic. We've gone to war with them now, finally, and hopefully we can clean up the Martial Republic pretty quickly using our special forces and whatnot. Um, we should have a decent amount of air superiority, and we're going to get the crap beaten out of us here in the north. Um, especially with the free cons moving this fast, so uh, we'll see. And can we actually do anything here? I don't want to risk it. I mean, the, the north is pretty much just a decoy. The south is really where we're gonna hammer home for now. And uh, yeah, 
Looks like we're doing all right. Yeah, keep these guys in place. Go to Elaka. Ella Aka Laka. How do you pronounce it? There you go. Very nice. Um, you guys need to move as fast as you possibly can. Uh, so we can do that. That'd be good. And then get to Rapid City. We do have a small little Air Force, too. And we got a lot of uh, technology done, too, which is great. Um, yeah. Oh, now they're definitely attacking up there. Yeah, they'll definitely be starting to move in and whatnot, which is fine. I mean, the Northern Army is just all one giant distraction. And there goes the Marshall Republic. Which is quite good for us, too. Quite good. Let's just finish them off. There you go. Yay! Good. So we got these guys down here. I need you guys to finish this side of the Great Khans. I'm going to start really beating the crap out of the Free Fighters here. Everyone starts moving now. Um, oh, did I forget to do... Eh, a little bit, maybe. There you go. That'd be nice. How's their superiority? We're doing alright. They do have like 50 planes, but we have 100. We have a lot of gas damage, though, which is fantastic. Mmm, you are infantry guy. Eh, life giver's good enough. What are losses like? 56,000. Oh, wow, they've lost a lot of those guys. Uh, we're 28%. We've lost 500. Okay, interesting. Not bad. We're doing quite well, I'd say. Better than I thought we would. Now we're really beating the crap out of the free cons. They should not have pissed us off, you know? Just simple things to do. As you can see, we've cored quite a bit of territory. I'm moving all around here. We're going to core Brandon next if we possibly can, but... Oh, that's too high. Resistance. Not ideal. We're going to start branching out that way, then. Come on, Freecons. Just die already. Get in there. Just 6 2, not a big deal. Hey, there's the Freecons. Look at that. Fantastic. Now, you guys can come all the way up here and... Oh. I guess do that, really. That'll be fine. There's a small... A lot of small little waterways around here. Two. There you go. Go ahead. Figure it out. We're doing alright. We're 39%. It's not too bad. Now we're moving through here, too. How many divisions do I have left? Ah! Not 48. That's not bad. Yeah, it was, it was better than I thought it would be. I mean, it helped with have manpower. I did convert all of our occupied territories over to... Uh, or territory management to riders, which have dogs on them, finally. Um, so it's actually going all right. And that'll give us even more manpower to work with, because you never have enough. You really just don't. stuff. Very good stuff. How much more manpower do they have? After 39 divisions. Not great for them. Good for us, of course. Uh, none, basically. 50 some guys. We have 7,000 in reserve. Finally, we, at the end of the campaign, we finally have manpower after we've done some funky stuff to make sure that we have enough manpower. And by playing until 22,890 almost. Very good. Still can't call this. God dang it. We got him! Look at this. Hey, looking pretty good. Oh, we can do these focuses finally. Oh, look at the corn buildings. Look at that. How fantastic. A whole freaking core. Wow, 175 days still. Wow. Um, sure. Why not? Sure. Stid Moose Jaw, you guys looking pretty good. The NCR has just gotten a bit crazy. I say banana hammer crazy, but Arroyo State. By the chosen one, too. We're doing pretty well, but the NCR is taking over the wasteland. Wow. It's a jungle pack with Chichen Itza versus NCR, which is. Oh, ooh. 
Well, we'll be slightly part of the bear economy. And I remember the old days. Don't get it's good to be on top. Of course, all own states are also acquired by the MacArthur Detachment. Moose capital of Missoula. Will be known as Montana. Oh, we get from the state of Montana? I didn't realize that. That's cool. Too bad it, it's almost impossible to play. At least, at least when I was playing them. It was very difficult. We can be in a customs union, but my god, we're going to keep our independence. Also, we have too many divisions here, too. But I don't think it really matters at this point. I want to see what this says. I remember the old days. The good old days. Where are we all going to? Oh, we're going up there. That's right. Uh, I'm the one who put them up there. Nice. Cool, let's see what happens. Broken Coast is doing okay, too. They're really broken up, actually. Here, here, here. Oh. Well, we did it. We did it, my kid, Missoula. Ours, finally ours. It's about time we made it back home, crushing these enclave screwballs. <clears throat> now, it was a hard part. It's time we begin rebuilding Montana and rehabilitating our family. Yes, rehabilitation. I'm afraid our little family may have a psychotic problem after all those cold nights out in Wyoming, living like crazy raiders. Even now, I see it as I look upon my sons and daughters covered in deer guts and human skulls. I feel even my own sanity slipping at times, uh, as I am overcome with an insatiable bloodlust. You are not citizens of Missoula. Your savers are here. And with your help, as well as psychiatrists, we'll instate democracy soon enough, just like the old world, for all these blood and guts and stuff. Ah, uh, yeah. Democracy. Go back to Chicago. Great. That's actually cool. I never realized that we could actually become oh, we're scarred for life. Uh, Montana. That's actually really cool. So, hey, if you enjoyed the campaign, though, uh, please consider leaving a little like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a tremendous rest day of your day.